This pandemic has accelerated our kids' use of technology and their exposure to the dangers online. Between virtual learning and confinement from other social activities, they've turned to technology to fill the gap. In this video, I will cover three simple tips to help keep our kids safe online, including awareness and involvement, monitoring activities, and software and hardware solutions. In case you want to skip around, I've included timestamps in the description below. Also, I've included links and resources that I'll discuss in this video. I understand this could be very overwhelming and scary. I'm very apprehensive, and that's even after decades of being in technology. The good news is you're far from being alone. There are a ton of resources on the internet that will help to walk you through this process. Also, if you have any additional questions after this video, please feel free to comment down below and I'll point you in the right direction. Let's get started. Tip number one, awareness and involvement. Now this includes a whole family. While understanding that parenting styles vary, one thing is consistently clear. Our need for involvement in our kids' online activities has increased substantially. Talk to your kids early and often. It is highly recommended that you include your kids as you research online safety. This will not only help to inform them, but also sets an example for how important it is to you. Being an expert in all the dangers online is not necessary, but following consistent guidelines out that are out there and available to you will help to protect your kids online. Let's discuss some key steps around awareness and involvement. Start with instilling an understanding that everything your kids post on the internet is permanent and for the whole world to see. This is a tremendous responsibility, especially for small kids, but it's important they understand the weight of it. Words have powerful and sometimes destructive impacts online. Tell them how they should avoid picking on others and to let you know when others are picking on them. Here's a few do nots that you want to discuss with your kids. Do not talk with any strangers online. Some of the most major game titles have undergone scrutiny lately because they're even finding adults mimicking kids on these games and trying to chat with them. Do not talk about sex online at all. If anybody tries to engage in sexually explicit or inappropriate chats with you, you should notify your parents immediately. Do not agree to meet in person with anybody you're chatting with online. Any meetup should be approved by your parents and verified through other means such as telephone, face-to-face, -face, or text messages. Do not accept unverified friend requests. Don't visit porn sites. Don't visit illegal file sharing or music sharing sites. Do not give out your personal information, your name, your date of birth, where you live, what school you go to, passwords. Do not attempt to circumvent any parental controls. Tip number two. Now that we've established all this, the next step is to set up a routine and regimen to monitor their activities. Start with establishing a shared space somewhere in your home that all online activities can be conducted in. This way you can keep an eye on them. Also, check their computers and browser history often. You want to make sure that they haven't loaded any applications, any games, or surf to any websites that you don't want them to surf to. Collect their passwords. This is extremely critical because a lot of their online activity they can hide from you unless you know their passwords. Make it conditional that if they want to be online, they need to share their passwords with you. Look beyond computers and tablets. There are a ton of smart devices these days in the home, and some of them can be used to access the internet in dangerous ways. Look towards your smart TVs, your gaming consoles, and your cell phones. These can all access the internet. Keep an inventory of all their contacts and activities on social media. And finally, be clear and open. Put this all on paper so that everyone knows the rules and expectations. Tip number three, we're gonna talk about establishing the settings and then looking at software and hardware solutions to help you police and monitor your kids' activities. Let's start off with parental controls because those are already embedded in most of your devices. Take a look at those in each and every one of your devices and make sure you set them at a threshold that you feel comfortable with. Next step is looking at your desktops and laptops. Each of, your, each of the major operating systems do have features available that will allow you to establish certain filters and controls. I've linked to each one of those in the description down below. 
but also just a little pro tip here i would recommend that you establish a separate administrative accounts from your children's user accounts this will allow you flexibility and stronger controls because your kids will not be able to do certain things on those user accounts that can be done on the administrative account there's also some really good software solutions for desktop and laptops i recommend net nanny i put a couple down below they are extremely good at what they do virus software is a must you do not want hackers getting inside your kids computers and turning on the webcam or monitoring their keystrokes or sending them messages that you don't want them receiving now onto your kids mobile devices both apple and google have amazing applications out there that will allow you to monitor your kids activities while they're on the cell phone but if that isn't enough i've also included an application called bark in the description down below it does allow you to see all your kids activities while they're on the cell phone so it's up to you if you feel you need something more that's definitely a great resource for your home network most modern routers these days do include certain levels of parental controls in there that allow you on a per device basis to turn on and off the internet set certain times and certain thresholds for use of the internet but what i'm most excited about is disney has released circle with disney i've linked to it down below what it allows you to do is load applications on all your devices and it monitors a network through hardware and through software so you know what your kids are accessing both inside the home and even when they're outside of the home. Now all of this being said, the internet is full of simple guides that your kids can use to circumvent some of these solutions. This needs to go hand in hand with an open dialogue and a sense of accountability that your kids will need to have when using the internet. I hope this video has been informative. Remember, if you have any questions whatsoever, I can help point you at least in the right direction. Just put a comment down below and I'll be getting back to you. Thank you so much. This has been Vince from Invincible Tech and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.